Well, first of all, we're obviously we're disappointed that we're 0-2, uh, uh, but I've seen some positive signs uh, uh, as far as our practice habits, as far as our uh, uh, mental state. So uh, we need to build on that and try to help our guys as much as possible into a third game. If the mind's right, the body will follow. And uh, as a coach uh, and a teacher, you're always uh, interested in uh, how people's emotions are. Uh, once again, we're disappointed, uh, but I think we understand where we're at and what we got to do and how we got to get there. And, and uh, everybody's willing to work, so we'll, we'll see. We basically just beat ourselves um, the past two weeks. Just the little mistakes that we're making on, on, you know, by watching film, just the, the huddle calls, the procedures, just little stuff that we shouldn't be making errors with. That should be basic from training camp and you know, little stuff like that beats you every time. You know, if you can't get lined up correctly, if you can't run the right route or block the right person, you know, it's just the, the offense isn't gonna work and run. And uh, you know, we just we just have to be better. That's the only thing we have to do. We have to just keep working. And that's all we have to do. Well, the secondary has always been a real tight-knit group, uh, and every year we have to go through, uh, you know, some sort of adversity together. Uh, so, you know, we've been we've been in situations where guys have been hurt, uh, and you know, we just have to pick up and keep moving on. You know, C.J. Jones got hurt, and you know, we just have to. Everyone has to pick up their end and keep moving forward because. Yeah, we still have to play this week. Of course, uh, Donnie Fletcher came back last week, which uh, gave us a big boost. Uh, you know, uh, the fact that he was able to contribute and play as much as he did for the limited amount of practice time that he had leading up to it uh, is, a, is a testament to uh, what I was just talking about, morale and guys uh, picking it up. But we are young back there, but uh, we think we're talented and uh, you know, we're, we're going to be all right. Oh, that was, I thought it was really gutsy. I mean, it was, you know, it was inspiring for me, you know, to see him, to see him going out there. He's got a broken back, and he's out there playing the way that he has. Uh, you know, I think that really picked up a lot of other guys uh, to see, you know, a captain come out and do what he did and play a level that he did. Uh, that, was, that was inspiring for all of us. Well, both teams are looking for their first win. So we're both going to be really hungry. Uh, and I know that they're going to, you know, we played a real tight game last year and they let one, you know, just narrowly get away. Uh, and so I know that, I know this week they're really going to be preparing and they're going to come out playing real hard. And I know we will too, but it's going to be a great matchup and, you know, it's going to take a lot of preparation uh, from both teams. Well, Duke's a very well coached football team. Uh, uh, obviously, they, they had a disappointing loss uh, in their two losses. Uh, but they always can move the ball. They've always played uh, extremely well on offense. They know how to throw the ball. They know how to run the ball. Uh, Dave is a very good coach at Cutcliffe. And, uh, and uh, they, they look like they're playing some improved defense also. We put one out against Duke last year uh, at the very end. And they're, they're better this year. Um, so, you know, we have to focus on ourselves. I mean, we have, we're going to study them uh, like we do every week with every opponent. And we got to focus on getting better uh, on defense. BC's offense and BC's defense, BC's special teams. Um, that'll be the key for us. Um, Duke's coming in here, they're hungry just like we are. You know, the first one's the hardest one to get, and you know, we gotta get them before they do. Uh, they're very sound, and uh, their X's and O's on offense, and uh, Sean's been them with a while, uh, he knows how to do it. And, uh, we had all we could handle with them last year, so I expect the same this year. Yeah, well, the, their quarterback, their whole offense actually is very good. Um, they have players, you know, they're, they're very underrated. Um, they get looked over a lot. And, you know, I don't know too much about their defense, who's returning, whatnot. Well, we haven't looked at them yet, but they, uh, they're going to be a tough opponent. And just like every week, you know, every week we have to prepare the same way for everybody. And it's no different. They've got a lot of real good offensive threats. Uh, they've got a dangerous uh, wide receiver, uh, and you know they they can give us a lot, a lot of different looks. It's going to challenge our defense uh, with you know, different adjustments, uh, but it, it's going to take a lot of preparation to get ready for this offense. Even though we're 0-2, I mean we're still 0-0 in the conference, so it's a clean slate, and we're looking forward to. You know, if we can get this one, only four or five teams are going to have winning records in the conference, and we could be one of them, you know, even though the past two weeks have been pretty bad for us. So 
we can get this one, you know, things will be you know, turning around and looking good for us. Well, obviously, uh, you know, we, we want to get our first victory, and it so happens uh, that now it's an ACC opener, which uh, uh, magnifies uh, the game. They, you know, they all count, some count uh, exponentially. Uh, there are different rewards for everyone, so uh, being a conference game and, uh, has a little any significance, obviously. Well, yeah, we're still looking for that first win, uh, first ACC win, uh, so it'd be great to get both of those in the same week. Um, they're they're going to be a great opponent, and uh, we're really going to have to come out and play our best in order to get that first one. Yeah, we we love playing at home. Uh, we love our fans, super fans especially are great. Um, you know, they come out, they get there early this year, and the coach Spaz made it a point to them to get to the game early and to cheer us on. And you know, North versus Northwestern, the fans, the atmosphere is great. And we, we need the continued support from them, and you know, it makes a difference to us. You know, you know playing in front of a great crowd really helps us.